the third antiphon from Evening Prayer 1, Sunday Eve, Vespers, 1221-2019. The fullness of time has come upon us at last. God sends his Son into the world. Though he was in the form of God, Jesus did not deem equality with God something to be grasped at. The fullness of time has come upon us at last. God sends his Son into the world. Rather, he emptied himself and took the form of a slave, being born in the likeness of men. The fullness of time has come upon us at last. God sends his Son into the world. He was known to be of human estate, and it was thus that he humbled himself, obediently accepting death, even death, death on a cross. The fullness of time has come upon us at last. God sends his Son into the world. Because of this, God highly exalted him and bestowed upon him the name above every other name, so that at Jesus' name every knee must bend, in the heavens, on the earth, and under the earth, and every tongue proclaim to the glory of God the Father, Jesus Christ is Lord. The fullness of time has come upon us at last. God sends his Son into the world, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fullness of time has come upon us at last. God sends his Son into the world. A reading from First Thessalonians. May the God of peace make you perfect in holiness. May he preserve you whole and entire, spirit, soul, and body, irreproachable at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. He who calls us is trustworthy. Therefore, he will do it. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A moment to reflect and receive in our hearts the full resonance of the voice of the Holy Spirit and to unite our personal prayer more closely with the Word of God and the public voice of the Church. Lord, Show us your mercy and in love. Lord, show us your mercy and love and grant us your salvation, your mercy and love. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, show us your mercy and love. O radiant dawn, Splendor of eternal light, son of justice, come, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. The Magnificat. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, 
the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O radiant dawn, splendor of eternal light, son of justice, come, shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death. Let us pray. Jesus is Lord, born of the Virgin Mary. Let us pray to him with joyful hearts. Come, Lord Jesus. Son of God, you will come again as the true messenger of the covenant. Help the world to recognize and accept you. Come, Lord Jesus. Born into your Father's heart, you became man in the womb of the Virgin Mary. Free us from the tyranny of change and decay. Come, Lord Jesus. In your life on earth you came to die as a man. Save us from everlasting death. Come, Lord Jesus. When you come to judge, show us your loving mercy and forgive us our weaknesses. Come, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, by your death, you have given hope to those who have died. Be merciful to those for whom we now pray. Come, Lord Jesus. Add your intentions. Pray now with confidence to the Father. Come, Lord Jesus. Gathering our prayers into one, we offer the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we, to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. With the sign of the cross, may the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. This was from the Liturgy of the Hours, which is the universal the official prayer of the Catholic Church. Not the Our Father, not the Hail Mary, or the sign of the cross. It is prayed every hour somewhere in the world by religious, by priests, and by laity, faithful. It's 520 on the East Coast. You can pray this. There's free apps. But as you get ready to conclude Advent, we light the fourth candle when the sun comes up. In just a few days is Christmas. Christmas has nothing to do with presents other than the presents that three wise men brought to Jesus to symbolize his priesthood, his death, and his kingship.